uh, and our challenge for this event, for this uh, process, is to look at the win-win between uh, finding ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the, in the milk value chain and creating business value. Whether that business value is reduced cost, increased efficiency, uh, added revenue from new revenue streams like waste to energy and so forth, um, that sweet spot is where we want to aim and continually challenge ourselves, challenge each other to find you know, where those opportunities are. There's not going to be many talks at all. We're going to roll up our sleeves and really get to work with one another and come out of this with collective action initiatives, some, um, some, some seeds, some pilots, um, all kinds of possibilities that are inherent in this room. For the first time, we are aligning multiple stakeholders and from retail to NGOs to the government around something that everyone has a shared belief and willingness to help them find solutions. And that's something that our farmers can be proud of because we're leveraging the resources of the entire community really to support our overall goals. I think one of the most interesting things that's come from this summit that's making an impact on me is a clear desire for all aspects of the dairy processing industry to work together and find solutions. People are really rolling up their sleeves here and they want to succeed. I've worked with a number of dairy industries around the world and frankly I haven't seen a place yet where they've been able to hold the value chain all, all together all the way from crop production through retail marketing and I think that's what makes this unique and it makes it really exciting. Business is about where is the value, where should I move, what, is, what, what do I have to do to stay competitive and move forward. I think what the summit has brought to everyone's attention is that there's value here and we have to address this value and if we don't, uh, it's going to pass us by. There's a, a tremendous amount of opportunity for, for the dairy industry to look, to become more efficient, to become more sustainable, to, to look for ways to streamline the dairy industry. The focus on action. And, and the structure, uh, I think it creates an environment of openness and creativity. And so I think the design and methodology has been uh, really important to that. But I'm hoping with the end of the, the meeting that we'll come away with two or three specific actions because it's in action, not in thought, where a real impact will come. We have over 200 volunteers that are really committed individuals who are making these projects possible. And the people involved range from farmers through to industry um, processors, transporters, academics, uh, researchers. And it's not only here in the United States, but it's people from around the world that have been involved in the projects. You know, one of the things that, that we can take back home from a meeting like this is, is really a, a better understanding that that one sector of our industry or one producer in our industry doesn't have to bear the full burden. If we all do the little things, they add up very quickly. The big picture around innovation is just uh, what do we do as leaders of the dairy industry to innovate in terms of our choices and our messages and our products uh, to keep this industry uh, at the forefront of American agriculture and to keep our products viable not only in our domestic market but in international markets as well.